Um, so that's, that's uh, you know, the value, the dual value here of Measurement Lab, both giving users information and helping the research community and the policy community. And this has been focused on the current state of broadband networks. I want to turn now to thinking about the future. Um, as we heard from Chairman Janikowski this morning, making a quantum leap forward uh, to faster, universal, open broadband internet access is crucial. Um, but how do we get there? And that's a lot of what the plan was trying to figure out. And there's no silver bullet. Um, and imagining the future can only do so much. It's a bit like uh, Henry Ford asking his customers what they would have wanted. And as he famously said, they would have asked for a faster horse, right? Not a car. I think the same thing is true in the broadband context, right? If you would ask consumers about dial-up internet, the innovations we've seen with broadband, we never could have imagined that. And the innovations we're going to see with faster and faster broadband are similarly, we can't expect them, but they will be transformative. Um, so more than imagining, to actually figure out what these innovations will be and figure out how to get there, what we decide to do is try and build the future or build a test bed for the future. Uh, when the FCC was considering its national broadband plan, we suggested that they do a series of test beds uh, to have fiber to the home connections, ultra high capacity, one gigabit service to homes, uh, to both test new deployment techniques, experiment with them, and experiment with how people would use these networks so that they could share insights, do research and experimentation, as Greg was talking about, that could help advance the broadband plan. Uh, so at Google, after we submitted those comments, uh, we were discussing them. In fact, Sergey Brin, one of our founders, said, well, why can't we just do that? Why can't we build a test bed? Uh, so a team got together, and in February 2010, we announced this Google Fiber for Communities project. We put out an open request for information that com communities could fill out and say if they wanted us to come and uh, trial a test bed in their community. What we'll be doing is, in one or more trial locations, building fiber to the home networks with one gigabit per second connections to homes. That's you know, over 100 times faster than what most people receive today. And uh, you know, the service will be at a competitive price. It won't be free. Uh, and we'll be serving 50,000 people at least and at a maximum 500,000 people. Why are we doing this? Simply, we want to experiment and learn and encourage innovation in the US market. Um, again, if, if you start with the idea that we can't imagine what innovations will be possible, one way to spur on both consumer demand and investment is to try and create a uh, test bed where killer apps will be developed. And those killer apps will then push the market forward. Uh, we also want to experiment with deployment techniques and share insights with the world. Verizon's done amazing work with BIOS, deploying, the, deploying that in some parts of this country. There are other fiber to the home providers elsewhere in the world. But there's still a lot more research and experimentation that can be done in advancing deployment techniques. We also want to provide uh, open access to our network. And we mean open both in the sense of network neutrality, not discriminating among applications and content providers, but also operating on a wholesale basis. So Google's going to sell internet access to users in these, in these communities. But we're also going to allow other service providers to come in, use our network, and provide their own retail internet services as well to try and uh, experiment with business models there and encourage more competition and innovation at that level of the network. What we're not doing, uh, simply, we're not building a nationwide network. This is really an experiment that's focused on research and sharing more data back to really drive the market and drive the policymaking process forward. Uh, with that in mind, we're not giving away internet access because we want there to be real demonstrable lessons that can be taken away from this that can influence business and policy. And we're not seeking any special treatment or, or funding. Now, as you, this, this uh, project has caught the attention of quite a few people in the news and around the country, um, which has been surprising and humbling and I think provides really useful insights for thinking about um, how we make this quantum leap forward to faster one gigabit connections, 100 megabit connections. Uh, and we put out this RFI in February, and in six weeks, uh, we closed out the process. We'd received over 1,100 uh, communities had submitted, saying why they should be the test bed community. Over 190,000 people, in, individuals in communities, had said, uh, please bring it here. And we had all sorts of uh, amazing community actions to help attract attention, to try and attract attention. Politicians jumping in lakes, uh, India Pale Ale, Google Beer, Topeka changed its name to Google, all sorts of things. And there was funny, silly stuff, but there was also substantive stuff that was done by these communities coming together and saying, as a community, this is important. We know this is important. It's actually as if we, you know, it was Henry Ford asking 
what do, you, what do you want, customers? Instead of saying a faster forest, they said, I want a Prius and a national highway system. That's sort of what this response is, right? To have the, to the notion that communities would already be saying, we know this is important to make a leap beyond in broadband, I think is a really telling, um, a telling point. And it creates both a challenge and an opportunity, because Google's is just one experiment. There, are, there need to be lots of experiments, lots of research if we're going to push that forward. We're happy to be a part of that, but we think there's a real opportunity for all these communities, now that this excitement has been shown, for many more experiments to grow, and we hope that will happen uh, to help make that leap forward to faster, affordable, universal, and open broadband internet access. Thank you.